Welcome to the universe of environmental training. And those of you who arrive are looking for tips on how to train your concentration, how to develop it. On this channel, we present you with dry, tedious games. We give talks, but we also like to make sure that with every talk, there's a little exercise. Very important that you have some form of exercise. The reason why you need to have some form of exercise is that it stretches the mind. When the mind is stretched, we can make it work better for us. That's why every, every now and then we suddenly find ourselves facing a new challenge and it brings it either the best in us or it brings us the worst depending how we handle. From an environmental training point of view every person has something to offer the world something good, something useful it's just a matter of discovering and any challenges that we find in life are there to bring up the best in us. Though at the time we feel under threat, we feel under pressure, we feel that it's the worst thing that could ever happen to us. Yes, I know some of you will be saying, well, with the death of a relative or an illness, how does that bring out? But you'll find by the way you cope or the way you handle, or the way you don't cope or the way you don't handle the situation, will show you that there's an aspect in your character or personality that you need to develop or that you have developed. Life is about what we make of it and what we do. And environmental training, from our perspective, is here to train your mental environment to enable you to handle whatever life brings to you or whatever you attract. For some people say we attract the things that happen to us and others say it just happens. In environmental training we believe in each person being able to handle whatever life throws at them. The most important thing is to have the tools and to have the tools developed. You have all the power that you need within you. It's just a matter of bringing the power out. That's the most difficult bit, bringing the power out. It's not bringing out power, because there's power at every point, there's power. But the question is that, is the power sufficient to handle the situation? To give you an analogy, it's like trying to recall something. And you'll say, well, I don't recall anything, so my memory is bad. No. Your memory is good, because the mere fact that you recall that you don't recall anything shows that you've got a memory of some kind. What is happening is that the memory that you've got is not quite doing the job that you want it. It's like when we start drawing. People say that they can't draw. No. What they mean is that they don't like what they've drawn. Everybody would like to draw like Da Vinci or Picasso or Salvador Dali. But all that takes practice. And that's the same thing with environmental training. It all takes practice. Begin steadily, begin slowly. Praise yourself as you go along. The reason for praising yourself as you go along is that it's your subconscious mind that is really doing the work. So you have to show some form of appreciation. And if you get into the bad habit of criticising it, it will stop doing the work. So the whole idea is to praise it and encouraging. That is the best form of criticism that we can think of. Encouraging your mind. Find the faults and think of the opposite. So if the memory is not to your liking, tell yourself the memory can be to your liking. If your thinking is not to your liking, Tell yourself your thinking can be to your liking. So the whole idea is that you want to think of from a positive point of view. 
especially for things that you're going to be repeating again and again.